Hey everyone, Dylan here with Slate Digital, and I'm very excited to show you the new Transient Shaper VMR module that we've just added to the All Access Pass. This new module is an efficient, intuitive, zero latency tool that gives you complete control over the shape of your sounds. We'll go over all the features in this new module, such as the transient and sustain controls, warmth, focus, listen, stereo link, and the safety clip. The Transient Shaper is split up into three sections, where you can control the transient, the sustain, and the output. The transient section has this amount knob, warmth knob, and the focus bar. The amount knob can be used to either enhance or reduce the gain of the transients in your input signal. A great thing about this module's transient detection is that it is actually completely level independent, meaning a threshold is not necessary for detection. You can also change the overall level of the track without affecting the module's behavior. There's also a warmth knob here that adds saturation to the transients. This is also independent from the transient gain, meaning that you can actually add bite to your transients without cranking the transient knob. The focus bar is a way for you to filter the process signal so that you can target exactly what frequencies are being affected. Here's a helpful tip when using the focus bar. By holding the shift key, you can select either of these points and click and drag to create a bandpass behavior with the focus bar. Now let's move on to the sustain section. The sustain section has this amount knob and also a focus bar that works just like the transient section. The sustain amount adjusts the gain of detected sustain parts, which is essentially the tail part of the hit. So by increasing the sustain, we can hear that the body of the bass gets a little more pronounced and slightly fuzzy. And when we reduce the amount of the sustain, we're really just left with the initial plucks or those transients of that bass. And just like in the transient section, by using the focus knob, we could tell exactly where we want the detection to occur. Let's hear that in action. Down here, we have the output section. Let's go over some of these controls. When stereo link is engaged, a mono signal is used for detection. The time knob adjusts the length of the transient or sustain that is being processed. For this example, I'm gonna be really exaggerating the transient and sustain amounts so that we can hear what the timing knob is doing. So one of my favorite features included inside of the transient shaper is the listen section, which will let you output just the transient, just the sustain, or both processes combined. The last parameter in the output section is the safety clip button, which will clip the output to zero dBFS in order to keep safe gain staging at the expense of a clipping effect. The Transient Shaper module also comes with 12 presets that are great starting points. So that's all you need to know about the new Transient Shaper module in VMR. When used with the rest of the modules in VMR, you get even greater control of your sound. Transient Shaper is available in the Slate Digital All Access Pass, along with dozens of award-winning plugins, the Anitu Ultra Bundle, thousands of royalty-free samples, masterclasses, tutorials, and mix templates, all starting at just $9.99 per month.